Hi guys! Welcome to Selection Sort VG Tutorial. Here I will teach you about Selection Sort. Selection Sort is a sorting algorithm wherein it is more efficient to use when you're dealing with large list of elements or array. Selection Sort is noted for its simplicity and it has more advantages over complicated sorting algorithms. So, how does selection sort works? Here, we have a set of numbers that will represent as our array. In selection sort, our array will be divided into two parts. We're in this part, or the left side of the array, will be the side that will contain our sorted elements while the right side will contain our unsorted element so first we have to select the smallest number in our array so here our smallest number is 0 and 0 will be put at the first element or at the index 0 of our array so 0 will be swapped with 6 and now we know that the first element of the array or, at the el or the element at the index 0 is now sorted leaving the, el the other elements at the right unsorted and at the unsorted elements of the array, we will again select the second smallest number until the largest element will be placed at the last index. So again, we will select the second smallest, which is 2. 2 will be swapped at index 1. So 2 will swap to with 3. Now, we know that the first two elements of our array is already sorted. Then, from these unsorted elements, we will again select the next smallest element, which is 3. And 3 here will be swapped at the next index, which is 2. And now we know that the first three elements is sorted leaving the last two elements unsorted and now we select again the smallest element from these two which is five there so five will be swapped with six and now we know that the large largest element is at the last index which is 4 and now we have assorted elements now I will show you how a sam sample code of selection sort so here we have a array class we have we already have here an array which is set to size 5 or size here and then we print the array for loop for getting the array values and another for loop for printing the values of the array so for us to make a selection class create a new class and we'll name it selection so now we have a selection class Oops. And now we have to create a selection sort method. And I will make it as we have to get the array at the array class now. So here I set our array as array. And we are getting it from the array class. 
now. <coughs> We have to make an outer for loop. Name it as out. For us to know that this is our outer for loop. And out will be less than array that length minus 1. So here I said out is less than array that length minus one because we know that the last or the remaining will be the last element that will remain will be the, our largest element like this. So we know we, when we sorted five here, we already know that our last element is already sorted. And we set a variable that will get our index. So we set it as index equals. This will hold the index so that we can place our variable, our smallest element at the index or at the first index to the left. And we also again assign another for loop inner for loop Oops. we have to set here out plus one So here I set in equals out plus one so that when the loop when the outer for loop looped we will read, we will skip the values at the left because we already know that the values at the left is already sorted. And I set it as array that length only without minus 1 so that we can compare the elements until the last element and so now we have to set if to compare our elements so that we can get the smallest element So if array index is greater than the array in then index will get the value of in. So this indexed will be our indexed when we swapped. We'll see it here. So here we will place here the swap which we see. So temp here is our temporary variable that will hold the value of our array at array zero to the or our or our array element at the left. So that the R it will still remain. And now we set our array, our array to the left as array index. Because we, so that the smallest number will be stored 
at our array to the left or our first array to the left and the position of our array of our smallest element will hold the array to the left so that they swap and for us to see what happens we have to set an iteration that will print our the values of our array so iteration Here I will set a variable int itr just to show the number of our iteration. And we set a for loop for printing our array values. And now we have to make a variable method or an object so that we can access methods of our selection class. And, we'll name, and I will name it as object to one. So object one here will be our object that will access our methods in selection class. I will place it here. And now if we print this, for example, try this. And we have six. Correct, but I want it to be like this again. So that you that you can see it clearly. Again, six zero three five one here. So we have values six zero three five one. This is our original values of the array so in first iteration ah forgot we have to set our iteration looping for the last time again we have six and 1 so we have 6 2 5 3 1 and then in our first iteration oh, isn't it looping I think I I see so sorry again there. Six zero two five one. So we have six zero two five one, and in our first iteration, we have we found that the smallest number is zero, so we swap it here. The value of in the index six, in the index of six, so they swapped, and then again we found one, so one will be swapped with six. And then two, and then five, six. There. So that's it for our selection sort.
thank you for watching guys in our next in my next tutorial I will teach you about insertions thank you guys